bottles. We only paid $500 for But how did we get it so cheap? So we're all on liquidation.com. This liquidation website is insane. They sell huge lots of crazy Apple products for insanely cheap prices. This one's selling two iMac for $285. 18 iPhone 11 for $900. And even 100 iPhone for $1,600. All of these always sound way too good to be true. And we're gonna find out today. Okay, we have iPhone 13, 17 of them for $3,000. Today's goal is to find the most iPhones for the cheapest amount because let's be honest, I don't really feel like spending $3,000 for some phones that may or may not work. We got iPhone 13, $3,000. iPhone 11 Pro Max unlocked, $2,800. But dude, this one has a lot of phones. We have this one, which looks pretty good, but $980 is still kind of out of our budget. This one has 30 units. It's only $1,200. So I guess we'll go ahead and try to bid on this one for $1,300. Here's like an Apple iPhone 11 Pro Max, 12 units. Says it's worth $13,000. I mean, it's a little bit pricey, but $1,000. This one says Apple iPhone 7 Plus, 50 units. That's worth $37,000. And the current bid is at $465. So I'm gonna go ahead and place a bid for $550 and see if we land it. This one says 50 units of iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 7, and more. Unlocked and mixed. No other guarantees. Devices are sold as is. That's kind of how it works for all of these products. iPhone 13 Pro Max worth $17,000. Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max, 15 units of Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max. That's a lot of iPhone 12. We should bid on this one, but again, I have no idea if these work, so we might be wasting some money. Place our bid. I just placed a lot of bid. There's no way we don't win at least one of these. And a couple days later, our iPhones came in. We ended up winning the bid for $550, with which tag came out to about $587. Which means that we got these iPhones for a little over $10 each. Okay, so here is our box of iPhones. Oh my gosh. We have our work cut out for us. The fact that these were so cheap means that actually none of these are freaking gonna work. It's absolutely- Oh. Well, not anymore. Like, these were way too cheap for any of them to actually work, but- Oh. Every time I buy iPhones for so cheap, I'm like, guys, yes! it's gonna be great. They most likely never work. Okay, so right off the bat, none of these are turning on. I'm already rethinking this whole video. What are we doing, guys? We actually only need one good iPhone, and I feel like we'll make our money back. But right now, this is like a freaking iPhone 4? Like, this one's a little older than me, probably. Okay, so this one's a 6S. These are usually worth more, but you know, they're worth more if they turn on. Bro, an iPhone 3? Who put an iPhone 3 in there? This is not funny. This is not a joke. This is literally probably worth $2. Where's the charger? Do you, do you, do you have that charger? Nobody has that charger. <laughs> right off the bat, we have, I think these are iPhone 5s. This is iPhone 6s, iPhone 3, and none of them turn on. I've literally tried every single one of them, and none of them are turning on. So unfortunately, all these phones are going in the non-working pile. This video is starting out great. This is just such a great video. More iPhones. Okay, so we have some 6s. Here's some gold ones. These are pretty nice. They actually have little notes on them. Turn on, not charge. So there's hope on these. These might actually work because they put that they turn on. 6s, turn on. Oh, okay. This one, well, oh, this one probably won't turn on. Okay, so these are actually pretty decent. Oh, our first one that turned on. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Why does it look like it was like dropped in water, dude? This one is not turning on. Also not turning on. So more non-working. This is actually an iPhone XR. This one is pretty new. Okay, it says 80 on it. I don't know what that means, but oh, our phone. Ah! Dang. <laughs> A passcode never stopped anyone. Two, three, four. Zero, 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 zero. One, 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 one. Oh. Oh. These are definitely stolen. Why do I keep buying stolen phones? You can't even get in. Dang it. Okay, so. This one works, it just can't get in. Next we have some 6S. They say they turn on. Do I believe it? No. <laughs> right here on the sticker, it says good screen. I think that they lied. I think they lied about that one, just to guess. I mean, technically it's good, it's not crap. Okay, I really want this one to work. Break test. Oh, I have a good test. I'm scared. But this one says it has a good screen, I don't want to break it. Why don't I turn it on? That it was good. It says turns on. <laughs> This one. This one, they just took the button off. Look, they replaced it with another one. None of these are turning on. Okay, I'm gonna charge some of these because again, we need to get $500 back. And so far we're at zero. This iPhone 6 that said it was gonna turn on, never turned on. We charged it for like 30 minutes and it just never worked. I try to bend this one, see how durable iPhones are. <laughs> I can't do it. 
I can't do it. This is one is the one I'm the most excited for because this is an XR. This is like one of the newer ones. So if we can get this to work, this might save us our whole $500. We're gonna plug it in. Okay, so the iPhone XR did turn on and it's in the brand new condition, which is super exciting. Dude, it's in the startup. That means that it's literally brand new. So we're gonna try to set this up. If this one works, it's worth $300 pre-owned. And it's not in terrible condition, except for like the camera is a little scratched up. Dang it. I freaking knew it. You see that? It's iPhone locked. Let's add that to the non-working pile along with all the other phones that we have. You know what? We might be able to sell this one anyways. So we're gonna put this in the maybe pile. Oh Lord. Crunchy phones. These are crunchy. Okay, so we have another 6S. Oh, this one's a pretty pink color. That one doesn't work. This one has a sticker on it. Okay, so this one's just dead, but it's not really worth anything anyways. This one, we got a nice little screen coming off. Ooh, you have a lithium battery. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Broken. Ooh, this one's got a little dirt on it. Ooh. Ooh, man, these are just whack, dude. Okay, now I'm starting to think that $500 was not even worth this. Okay, we have another iPhone XR. This is the one. It's in literally mint condition. No cracks on the front, no cracks on the back. If this worked, it was all worth it. Everything we've bought so far. iPhone 11 is charged. Moment of truth. <laughs> Can you see that? You see it on the camera? There is no screen. Like it just doesn't turn on. It's like on, but not really. Like this just, this is no good. Regardless, we still might be able to get some money for this. So we will put it in the maybe pile. This one says 10 iPhones. Ooh, aww. These are so crusty. Why didn't we get iPhone 14? Why do we have this? Like, come on now. I wonder where these came from. Like, just think about it for a second. 10 years ago, some grandpa probably owned this one. And now we have, these have history. You know what? Maybe these iPhones are worth $500 because all of them have meaning and a life that they've lived. Nah, they're kind of worth nothing. Some more iPhones. These are packaged super nicely, so I have higher hope. Oh, oh. Oh, we have an iPhone 11. Oh, you see that? That thing is like clawed up. Like it has 20 million scratches on it. But this is an iPhone 11. So that sounds like money to me. So this one again has a ton of potential because an iPhone 11 is worth a good amount of money. I want to say like $400. Let's get this bad boy charged up. This doesn't turn on, unfortunately, at all. Again, the same situation. We've charged it for a while and it's not turning on. The newer iPhones are worth some money. So we're going to try to sell this. We have another iPhone 11 in here. <laughs> have a screen. It's just the back of a phone and that, not even that. Like the Apple logo is not even there anymore. This thing is just destroyed. We'll do a quick little repair. So we have the iPhone 11, right? Without a screen. Hear me out. Sarah Grace iPhone repairs. Welcome to my shop. I got your iPhone. Let me fix it up for you real quick. Ow, I got cut. There you go. There you go. The new iPhone 11. Two different colors. I have to like be serious. Cause like, what did I think? All these iPhones were $10 each. You don't get a good iPhone for $10. A girl can wish, but these are also going in the broken file. Our iPhone XR. Our iPhone XR is also iCloud law, which means this was a stolen phone, but we still might be able to get some money for it. Because it's in such good condition, we might be able to get like $70. So let's put this in the maybe pile. I'm telling you, I just want my $500 back. That's all that matters. We're like over halfway through and we have not a single working phone. I just need something, something good to come out of this video. We have our next batch of hot iPhones. Get them all, they're hot, they're hot and spicy. We have more iPhones that are not gonna work. So excited. Okay, oh, 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 these look good. These look good. Look at this iPhone 11. This happens every time. I'm like, wow, this looks so nice. And then it's like, <sighs> oh, regardless, these are all newer phones. Whether they work or not, doesn't matter. We could probably still sell them for parts and maybe get some of our money back. If this turns on, I will get my YouTube channel. Jump in the pool. I'm assuming these need a charge. Here we have some, oh. We have some, oh, <laughs> some iPhone 8 Pluses. I really don't think these are worth a single penny, especially not this one. I know, oh, it's a screen protector. <laughs> oh, this one's kind of nice though, low key. Hold up, let's not get too excited. I know you're watching, you're like, oh my God, like this is gonna work. Don't, don't get excited. This one's activation lock, of course, but again, the body of it's really good. So we can try to sell this later on in the video and see if we can try to get like $20, maybe. So that goes in the maybe pile. Our iPhone 11, we're gonna go ahead and plug these in. Okay, we got our iPhone 11 to turn on and she, oh, this is so crusty, musty, dusty. Look at it, dude. Oh my gosh, the screen is just horrible condition. Like only a quarter of the screen works. The rest is all bugged out. It's starting to make sense why they were so cheap. Add it to the broken pile. Okay, so here we have an iPhone 14 plus it looks like. So this is probably the newest phone in the box. Hey, yo. Okay, so we got this one to turn on. So this one didn't turn on, but this one did. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this one in. But this is where it always goes wrong. And then it just says iCloud lock. Like the video for good luck, guys. Can't tell if it's working or not. Oh, this just got 
got, I think, all of our money back. Like, this whole video was worth it. We got gone through, like, over 40 phones, and luckily, I think this iPhone 14. I don't even know. This might have saved the whole video. Okay, so the camera looked great. I look just as pretty as always. The camera works great. The camera works. Stop. This iPhone 14 is going to save the entire video right now. We're gonna try to sell this after we finish unboxing and see if we get our $500 back. This is our iPhone 12 and it turned on, baby. It on, it's working, has a little crack right here, but that's okay. We love it no matter what. We're gonna get a brand new iPhone. This is like the closest we've got to a working iPhone right now. And it's like a good one too. There's no way that this works too, right? Bro, what? Given it is kind of beat up, the camera's busted, this is busted, it's busted here, but it's not iCloud locked. This is an iPhone 12. Dude, this is so freaking awesome. You don't understand how happy I am. I'm so happy. This is the W right here. This is it. The end of the video, we won. Ooh. And we have a little computer part as a little like extra add-on. Not that one. If we tried to sell these like realistically, we'd probably get $2. These don't turn on. Sorry, are really trying that one? <laughs> it's habit, I'm like, hmm. Waiting for it to turn on. Four more iPhones that don't work. In total, 42 iPhones didn't work at all and were literally worth nothing, but there were eight phones that could be worth selling, which gets me excited that we might actually be profitable on this video. So now it's a matter of seeing how much we can sell them for. We're here at the Eco ATM machine, the machine that buys our broken and used iPhones. So we're gonna sell our phones and see if we can make any kind of profit back. After selling your phones, we made $560 back, which means we made $20 of profit.